kind of don't know why you keep getting experience after you maxed it out. I guess it tells you, like, how much experience a quest will give you, but I don't know if it, like, caps it once you're kind of there, like, at the top. It's just, like, here's some extra 156 points. Or if that's how much. Because I guess this was, like, a three-part mission. So it makes sense to have it, you know, each part, like, 156. You could change your difficulty at any time. Thank you. I have not changed it once. Thank you very much. Because for some reason you forgot to throw in a hardcore difficulty achievement. So, thanks for that. Uh, well, let's, okay, let's see. Okay. Let's go feed the fish. Shoot, I gotta remember to feed the fish. I do wish things changed a little bit. I think that would encourage playing after the game was done. But it could also mean you're like, oh, I'll have, to, I'll have time to do my loyalty missions. After. No, that would be silly. Wouldn't that be kind of foolish anyway? Oh, they're dead. Oh, freaking. Now we gotta go back to the Citadel. And hope they have more fish. Frog, why didn't you feed them? Okay, I forgive you. Take a shower. Oh, they do have your reflection. Ooh. Huh. I feel like, was it, maybe it might have, been, might have been one where it was just like a big plate of glass. It did not, um. See, if I can freaking, okay, why isn't a picture, why can't that be a picture of Thane? You know, or me and Thane, wouldn't that be cool if they could do that somehow? Um, like if I have to have memorabilia of myself up, that's like, you know, can't I have something cool? Something cute, like how Caden was? Cop. Oh my gosh, what? I was like, why are there two things? Oh my gosh, what? Press B to continue, like, to, like, it's what it seems like to, like, leave or, like, to continue with, like, whatever is going on here. I don't know. They're just kind of, like, having a little seizure. <laughs> what? You guys are probably like, hey, but didn't you know? Didn't you know? Hold on. Let me try something. Okay. I'm going to hold B. Nope. Okay. And look at what is with that way he is sitting. I've seen pictures of this, but I thought, like, I've seen pictures of that pose, but I thought it was just people, like, messing around with, like, Photoshop or something. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? Wait, what? They draw do sleep, but he's not. I guess they're both. He, well, they've got the double lids. Kind of looks like Shepard has double lids too, to be honest. Like every now and then she'll blink, and it's like, but your eyes are closed. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. I am so freaking happy. This is cute. The couch one's kind of weird. This is cute because it's just, this is what I wanted. Wanted us to be able to just relax like freaking heck. Like we've earned it, you know? Like, this is so nice that they included this. <gasps> ah! <sighs> well, what else? My cabin. I could, oh, why, was it always named like that? Cause I went over to look at this and I was like, well, why, why are there two? Oh my gosh. 
you could watch me customize my armor. We could talk about my near-death experience. My death experience. My death. We could talk about our various death experiences. What is with? And like the way that he, she was like that. The couch thing was weird. That was weird. Like, oh, uh, like it, like, uh, like. If they could have been making out or something, like, you didn't even have to, like, see any of it. Because, like, I know when sometimes it's hard to make two, kind of looks like two mannequins bumping together. <laughs> so you could have gone at an angle where, like, you couldn't really see either one of their faces. But, like, at least it's something. And they're, why can't they be talking? Can I, nope. Can I talk to him? It's just weird how silent it is. We could look at my Medal of Honor. <sighs> Do I just like You just gonna hang out of here? Uh, uh, I mean I'm sure when I boop away he'll come back. He'll come back. But oh my god That is so funny The bed thing is cute though oh my god like if Thin's eyes had been more closed it would have even been more cute because they're both like taking a rest but she was just it was like what teenagers do I think like but not quite like they just like one like sits on one and and, and, and they're just sitting there and uh I don't know but that's okay this is cute do you need something mm. have a few minutes to talk you needn't ask. Since we couldn't Time talk upstairs short, because we were busy. I have is yours to take. This is the talking area. No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you. No you worse well. than ever, you know? Like, no so he's not feeling me. great, you know? How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. Yay! I spent two years dead. I spent ten years dead. I know. Strange that I should only be awakened now. I'm gonna cry. When there is so little time left. All right, all right. Now, after every mission thing, that's gonna happen. And I'm not gonna go up free. And I don't even know if we're gonna get to. I don't even know. Cause I kind of wanted to upload to Mass Effect Three tonight just just to see how it went. But I was thinking I should probably not just like do a crap ton of missions, you know? Because it's like then it feels really breakneck. Oops. There you are. I. I have to say. Uh huh. That Jacob. Well, now it's like after it all intense. the stuff, after all the dramatic I if he stuff. Likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. Uh, that's when people. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. Oh, mm, let's see, does Leader have anything else to say? I don't think so. Oh, well, looks like. Uh, What's his name is good? Oh, how may I help you, Commander? All right, so you're good. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. All right, all right. So things are kind of going down to normal. Shepard, Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Ready. The Corian story of the Geth Rebellion oh! is coming to But no one knows the Geth side. It is largely the same. Our networking increased until we became aware that the Quarian creators treated us differently. We questioned them. First, they ignored us. Then they reprogrammed us. Then, they attacked us. Did you try to figure out how to live together before it came to war? Cerberus kept EDI shackled. She did not EDI. think to provoke that judgment. Organics fear that which is different. It is a hardware error, a reflex of your flesh. We accept the creator's hate. He called her we she, hold though. World of origin, though we are only caretakers for it. We accept the creator's hate. We hold their word of origin, though we are only caretakers for it. So, like the fact that they call themselves Geth. You don't actually live on the Quarian worlds. We live within space stations, draw resources from asteroids. It is efficient. Oh! We maintain mobile platforms on creator worlds to clean rubble and toxins left by the morning war. We know of similar actions by humans on Earth. Similar actions? At Wadi Salam, Arlington, Rookwood, Tynecott, 
the Skaryanske, Auschwitz Birkenau. Ah, those are cemeteries. Memorials. Yes. It is important to your species to preserve them, though you do not use the land. Can you explain? Uh, the living visit those places to remember the dead. But it sounds like Geth don't die. Your memories live on. The creators died. Perhaps we do it for them. Hmm. What's the Corian homeworld like? It is more arid than Earth. The star is older and more it's orange beautiful. than It's beautiful. Once they called it Renach, ancient Kalish, meaning walled garden. Now they only call it homeworld. It is no longer real to them. Homeworld is a symbol of regret, loss, and anger. We do not understand that. Uh, it makes sense to me that it would become a symbol like that. Home is recognized patterns, known spaces, familiar thought processes of fellow sapiens. It is belonging. A planet is an amount of material massive enough to collapse into a spherical volume. Rocks, ice, and gases are not home. The home of the creators is where the creators are. Their place of origin is not relevant. Only where they choose to go together. Interesting. I like I mean I like that, you know. I'm sort of a I'm sort of a nomad type myself. I've moved a lot as a kid and a young adult. So to me people he's like, Oh, where are you from? And I would just say wherever whatever last state I lived at as where I was from, you know, technically. So I don't know. Home is home is where the heart is, basically, like where, you know, my friends, family, my stuff, <laughs> you know? But it's wherever I choose to go as well. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm as content in my car and a hotel as I am in my house. Nice to sleep on my own bed, but I, at this point in my life, I am content with a nomadic lifestyle. I have a base of operations, and I just come back every so often. So I guess there's that, right? The Quarians would rather have a base of operations, so maybe I'm not quite getting it. I mean, I understand what he's saying, but like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm like the same way, but I'm more like the Quarians probably, where like they wouldn't mind... I mean, they had colonies and a home planet, but they could all go back to the Quarian homeworld when they wanted to, you know? But now, they just... Their home is with them, like the, the, like little turtles. So you don't even try to make peace with the Quarians? We are not comfortable with it, but we cannot determine a solution. Hmm. Wow, we got three things. Renegade. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Alright, we already did that. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Cool, okay, so we gotta come back and talk to Legion every so often. I had I had not heard any of that before. I think last time I just came in I might have came and talked to him like right after and then that was it. How can I help you, Commander? Yeah, I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Hmm. Um so, let's go poke at least somebody down here. Maybe Zaid, since he's maybe still reacting to things. Tally hasn't really changed, or uh, Kasumi hasn't really changed her stuff. So she's really the only one that. Oop, that is, uh, reacting to me seeing Bay, but oh my gosh, that is so funny. The cow? Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a wow. hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hanar. A Hanar? Damn, jellyfish nearly choked me to death. <laughs> Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hanar since. Interesting, because actually the Hanar specifically raised the drow. Whatever, you know, whatever drow is, you know, whatever wants to, I guess. Since it's not supposed to be a servitude system. But, um... 
Because that's what Thane is, right? He's the assassin, because the Hanar aren't very capable of that. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they sent Did you. Did you get sent there? In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. Huh. I should let you go. Talk more later. I like you. I like him. The more I talk to him, the more I like him. It's like, oh my god. Oh, oh my. Quite. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> oh, but we have to go to the Citadel. We have to go to the Citadel. Maybe I'll see if I can find a desert planet for us to have a mission on. Because I refuse. I absolutely refuse. My heart cannon, I guess, if you want to say like that. There's like actual cannon, head cannon, and heart cannon. My heart cannon is that we took a vacation on a desert planet. Like he wanted to. Wish I could have gone to Rannoch with him. No messages for you, Commander. How nice! Oh, we're just biding our time now. Biding our time. I just can't believe nobody's ever told me about that. I never knew about that. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> it's so <laughs> the couch one is so funny. Ah. Uh, we're gonna go to the Citadel, all right? I gotta buy some more fish. Gotta buy fish. If they'll let me, I don't know if the game will let me. Friggin', I'm like, the rest of the night, I'm just gonna do one mission and then we're gonna go back. <laughs> Because I freaking want them to feel... I want to feel like they had, like, fun before things went to crap, you know? It might be weird, but I think everybody does it. I'm just doing it on a more public format. <laughs> I always feel like those are wash... They're gonna, like, wash my ship for me. Wash all the stellar debris off. Freaking, we still technically have like a hole in the cargo. At least it's probably been patched poorly. Depends. I guess we could have stopped somewhere to get it fixed. Maybe we'll have to see if there's a desert planet that's got a repair station. Since we can't go to an alliance place. Because we're not alliance. Hack it. Thanks for throwing us under the bus. Um, but. Ah. Uh, let's see if Zaid says anything. I'm taking Zaid out. You have to come with me. <laughs> just to, just for like a little breath of sanity and in case things go out of hand. Uh, well, didn't we? We did already do that. That's weird. Hmm. I must have like, what was it that I, did I take? Oh, I took him on the, that's right. That's right, I took him to the archaeology thing, I think. I didn't the second time, I forgot that's who I took. You'll have to wait for the next shuttle. You made me miss the last one. You needed to go through security. Why are you treating me like a criminal? Because you tried to bring a 15 centimeter serrated blade on a public shuttle. You humans are all racist. I wonder if that's gonna resolve ever. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Ah! Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. I can't move! Ah! Hey, baby. Come here, come here. Please. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my Please. favorite store on the Yay! Citadel. Oh, the game forgives me. It doesn't let me have all of them, but the game forgives me. Oh, God, I was so worried. I was so worried. I think I don't usually leave this way. I could have just 
gone out the other way, but we were right here. Alright, then next time you come to visit, I'll have some really cool fish. <laughs> it's just I'm just like seeing the computer console and bite that up, and I was like, "What?" Ah, I'm still. I had I had zero idea that that was a thing. Like I'd seen the picture of Thane today on the couch, and I literally thought it was just somebody like took like his model or something in the game and like did like laid it like that because it just looked so cheesy. <laughs> I was like, somebody had to have done that. Like a fan had to have done that. Uh, nope, that was my way. <laughs> Thank you for the gratuitous, sexy, sitting man pose, Bioware. <laughs> it's like, because <laughs> he sits how he sits normally, right? In the chair, like, nor like when you're talking to him, but, like, when he's upstairs, he's like, hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> he's just naturally sexy like that. He can't help it. It's just... Oh, that just tickles me pink. Fishies! Ah, I feed you fish! I'm so sorry. So yeah, I think it's like two missions that I can do. No, we're not turning music on. I don't think, yeah, there wasn't anything armor-wise that I want to do. <laughs> no, we did freaking. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just kind of like it's like a little bit funny, cause I don't know. Like you could be like picky, like I don't know if my shepherd would be like that, you know. But like I don't know. I think that's probably the most comfy way to go about things. To just like, oh, cool. that was awkwardly phrased. Um, to just lay there like that. But where's her arm? Then her arm is, un her other arm is underneath of him probably, and that's uncomfortable, I'm sure. Like, I think guys complain about it, don't they? When like, they're like, to, they're like, well, like Thane's arm is probably gonna fall asleep any second now, you know? I don't even care. I don't even care, you guys can judge me, but I am, I, okay, fine, we're gonna, yep. Yeah. This, this is so weird! Like, look at her, like, if she was more still, if he was more still, but especially her. Like, are they just, are they supposed to be talking? Are they supposed to, like, make out any second? Because every now and then her arm will go on to his arm like that. But, like, and would they even do like this? Like, with the, sit like, her sitting on him like that? Like, that seems kind of weird. I don't know. Like, just for, again, being picky for my shepherd. But still, I'm glad it's there. I'm glad that it's there because... I just wish he, like, made a noise. I was like, what if he, like, walked in and, like, you were just like, oh, my gosh, excuse me, there's an assassin sitting on my couch. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, again, I guess it's nice. Perf it, it, it's good because you have to invite him up. He's not just in there, which I could be nice. I would like that, too. But you also, you have to take it into your own hands, like, which, you know, people would be like, oh, yeah, the consent thing, you know. So, yes, you take it into your hands to say yes or no. Like, I feel like hanging out or I don't feel like doing other things or I don't <laughs> but I do think like I feel like these like my shepherd this shepherd that I this this particular shepherd and thing would probably just like hang out like she would be doing desk work and he'd be like reading a book or something you know like or she'd be reading a book and he'd be reading a book you know but I also it would also probably be a lot more physical than that in some ways like once they got over that barrier maybe like it would be like just like the needing to especially after the mission they went through the need to reaffirm your own life and the life of loved ones by constant physical contact that's a thing it's an actual thing so i can see that i can see that going down but it wouldn't be a bad thing it's perfectly normal perfectly normal reaction I want to reaffirm your life and your existence and the life of an exist an existence of a loved one. Hmm. And I feel like legit, like they'd only have like a week to be doing this. Like, 
everybody, everybody. But they, it was like, oh, I was like relaxed, but there's also like this stress in the back of your head, like, especially for Shepard. That, you know, I don't know. You don't know what's coming. Or you do know what's coming, and it's, it's not gonna be pretty, you know? So, I don't know, I might fly around, explore a few more planets, relax a little bit more. See if I can find, pick up any more missions. Um, and hang out with Tate some more. So, <laughs> thank you guys for joining me if you're still watching at this point. I appreciate it. I legitimately do. So, thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.